Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas Patnaik. So guys, this is the beginning of a lecture series based on cycloid curve and I'll be taking up problems based on cycloid, epicycloid and hypocycloid. So this is going to be the problem number one in this lecture series and if you're strictly coming to watch this particular video tutorial problem number one, then I would strongly recommend you guys to go back and watch the video tutorial on the introduction to cycloidal curves for which I've already provided a link in the description down below. Now let's get started with problem number one and here it goes. A circle of 50 mm diameter rolls along a straight line all right without slipping no slips fine. Draw the curve traced out by a point P on the circumference for one complete revolution of the circle. Name the curve. Draw the tangent to the curve at a point on it 40 mm from the line. Now the description of this problem looks a bit confusing. We're gonna sort it out anyway. So we have a circle having a diameter of 50 mm. So let's write it down and it rolls along a straight line. Okay, and we need to keep a track of one point which lies on the circumference of a circle. So guys, you know the definition of a cycloid. Cycloid basically is a curve generated by any point P on the circumference of a circle when it rolls along a straight line. So it has been clearly said that the point P on the circumference for one complete revolution of the circle. So name of the curve obviously is a cycloid. But what are the things that we need to do? So D has been given as 50 millimeters. So the horizontal distance that it is going to travel for one complete revolution is going to be pi D. All right. So pi D getting the value of 157.14. Just put the value and get the answer. Now guys, once the cycloid is constructed and somewhere along the cycloid at a height of 40 millimeters, we need to put a tangent and a normal. All right. So we've got our work cut out. So let's get started. So initially, let's draw a circle having a diameter of 50 millimeters. And this is what you call a rolling circle. So 50 millimeters dia radius is going to be 25. Fine. Let's move ahead and let's divide this circle into eight equal parts. So first, let's make four divisions. All right. For making eight equal parts, what you can do is simply this angle over here is 90 degree. So at an angle of 45 degrees, you can draw a line from these so something like this. All right. It's going to look something like this and uh, let's say uh, these points are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is going to be point P. Now as this circle starts to roll, it is going to travel some horizontal distance which is equivalent to pi D and pi D has been computed approximately as 157 millimeters like this. All right. So this is 157 millimeters. Now guys just think about this when this circle will start to roll and suppose all these guys are spokes. Okay. These are all spokes. What will happen is this point one will come into contact over here. Okay. It rolls for down further and this point two will come into contact and then this point three will come into contact. And similarly, if we gradually go ahead in this uh, rightward direction, you will observe that all these points are going to leave their impression over here. And finally, when one revolution is complete, that means the circle starting point is this one and this is going to be the ending point. All right. You're going to realize that this line over here, this 157 mm line over here will automatically get divided into eight equal parts. So our task right now is to do eight divisions of this line over here, this line I'm talking about. And for that, there is a very simple method. Let's say we draw a line at any suitable angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to make points over here one centimeter apart. Okay. So how many divisions do we need to make? We need to make eight divisions. And for that, we need eight arcs having a radii of one centimeter each. So let's do that one centimeter with this guy as center, you need to put an arc. Then with this guy as center, you again need to put an arc. Again with this guy as center, put an arc. Keep on doing so until you have eight arc. So this is the eighth arc and eighth arc has to be joined with the end of this line somewhere along here. Next step is to draw parallel lines through all these points. Okay. And that can easily be done with the help of a mini drafter. So keep your mini drafter along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the seventh point, draw a line, bring it to the sixth point, draw a line something like this fifth draw a line keep on doing so and finally you shall realize that this line gets divided into eight equal parts now let's have this point will come into contact over here so this is going to be point one this point two will come into contact over here as this circle starts to roll okay so similarly we can have all these points five six seven and this is going to be final point that this point p all right, guys. So the next step is to draw horizontal lines from all these points from seven, one, from six, two, from five, three and from four done. Now, uh, these points are to be projected in the upward directions for having the center location. So this is what you call the C zero point. Okay. Or the initial position of the center. So this over here is going to be C one. This is going to be C two. Let me show you how it can be done. 
okay so these vertical lines can be drawn very easily and over here you're gonna write c0 c1 c2 and so on until you reach here that is c8 fine let's move ahead and we need to keep a track of some point okay that point right now is in contact with the ground so that's the point all right let me show you once again that's the point which is in contact with the ground okay so when the circle starts to roll and this center point will reach here at c1 okay with c1 as center and with radius equal to 25 millimeters you need to put an arc somewhere along this line passing through one okay it's going to be like this so this is going to be your point p1 similarly again what we need to do is we need to take c2 as the center and with this line passing via 2 okay we need to again make an arc something like this and this is going to be your point p2 fine and with c3 as center and with the horizontal line passing through 3 okay we need to again make an arc somewhere here so this is going to be point p3 with c4 as center and with this horizontal line passing through 4 we are going to make an arc yet again it's not going to intersect a line but it's it's going to touch a line rather okay so this is going to be a point um, p4 all right now let's have c5 as the center and let's see the horizontal line passing through 5 so this is the horizontal line passing through 5 and with c5 as center we need to make an arc again again the radius is going to be 25 millimeters fine so this is the arc and this is the point right with 6 6 at center and the horizontal line through 6 is this guy all right so we again going to make an arc this is going to be point p6 7 horizontal line is this one c7 is over here let's make an arc and this is going to be p7 finally we have this c8 as the center and it's going to just touch this horizontal line something like this okay so this these are the points that we have tracked so the circle rolls along a straight line and we have been tracking this point and let us join all these points in sequence so that we can have a curve and that curve is in fact what you call a cycloid all right okay guys so fine this has been done cycloid has been constructed the next thing to do is to make a tangent and a normal so that tangent and normal has to be drawn at a height of 40 millimeters from the baseline so this is the baseline and from this baseline you need to go upstairs by an amount of 40 millimeters okay like say this point is on the baseline that means zero millimeters okay so this point is exactly at height of 25 millimeters if you uh, move in the leftward direction you're going to realize that somewhere here there is a point at a height of 40 millimeters something like this okay so this is the point name of the point is say q and along this point we're going to make a tangent and normal for that with q as center and with radius as 25 millimeters okay we're going to put an arc over here something like this and with this guy as center we're going to come downwards vertically until we reach here and this point is going to be point m and when you join m with q you're going to have a normal okay fine now once you've drawn the normal tangent is pretty easy uh, any line perpendicular to the normal is a tangent but it must be grazing through this cycloid something like this so this is what you call a tangent so guys that was all from my side this is your friend and tutor manas patnag signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing and let's meet again with yet another problem in this series problem number two in cycloid curves till then bye bye take care